All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Kansas Motor Speedway for the running of the Kansas Twister 350 here at Kansas. This is the NNSCRA Tap Out Truck Series. Coming off an exciting race weekend showing female drivers sweeping the weekend, both last week at Loudoun for the Tap Out Truck Series and Pocono for the Budweiser All Pro Series. Our previous race winner is starting midway, midway in the pack. Uh, that is Nicole Williams. Now, on the front row, somebody who we haven't seen or heard of at all at any pretty much of this series, and that's Connor Smith in the number 8 Chevy Silverado. Alongside of him in the number 31 is Trent Dunham. So we got Chevy sweeping the front row. Now there's something something we got to talk about here. We got a new driver in the third in the 33 car replacing Austin Ogo, and his name is Joshua Collard. Joshua Collard is starting from the 12th position today. He takes over the points for Austin Ogo, so that puts him, I believe, sixth in points after last weekend. So, so he gets so he gets to start out at the very top of the field here. Oops, wrong button. As we head back up to the front of the field here, as you hear my phone go off. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go get those most famous words in motorsports and begin the race. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the engines are fired, the trucks are rolling off, they're going to complete the pace lap, and we're going racing here at Kansas. We're going to have 27 laps of racing, so let's get to it. All right, welcome back here to uh, Kansas. This is the Kansas Revamped 2009 track. So, uh... We're getting ready to see some great racing here. As we're looking out the back of the pace truck as we get ready for as we get ready for the green flag. As you see the pace truck moves off coming to uh, the green flag to start the Kansas Twister 350 is underway, and Trent Dunham actually beats the, the 8 car to the line. He got a great start. But it's all Connor Smith right now. He is leading the field. Connor Smith with the great run. Trent Dunham beginning to fall back on the outside line. You know, there's one guy I, I ha I've seen that has a very steady qualifying run. And that is the guy running third place right now, Daniel Day. As we see up ahead, Charles Jackson going for the lead, the rookie. But Daniel Day has had consistent qualifying runs. As the... Oh, nope, the caution is not out. Thought they were... Thought the caution was out. But, uh... Yeah, Daniel Day has had some great qualifying runs, and uh, he could very well be a threat for this championship. And we're going to go take a look and see where last week's winner, Nicole Williams, is. She crosses the stripe in the 16th position. 18th, not actually, excuse me, 18th. She's starting to work her way up to the front here. Pit stops are on in this 27 lap event. As we're coming back up to the front here, new leader, Daniel Day. And oh, look, here comes Joshua Collard from his 12th starting spot. He's coming up to the field. See, now this is the start of the race weekend. Both the Budweiser All-Pro Series and the, and the Tap Out Truck Series are going to be at Kansas this week. This is a great, great run and great start for, 
for these for this, these guys here. So we are still under the green flag. We will be right back for these commercial breaks for some more action here in Kansas. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome back to uh, Kansas Motor Speedway. We just saw a lead change, the, the number 89 Chevy Silverado of rookie Chris Washer just now takes the lead. It's, it is now his turn at the front of the field as we've completed, as we're coming to complete six laps of, 20, of the schedule 27. He's got a big lead over these guys behind. Nope, take that back. Just the camera angle. Po Dylan Poteet, who's had some good, strong runs, still has yet to win a race. He came so close to winning at... Uh, Poteet came so close to winning at Kentucky until he got spun out by... Uh, I believe it was the same 89 when he was, when, when the 89, nope, it wasn't, it was, it was Dustin Griffith, my bad. But Chris Washer has the lead now. He has Dylan Poteet, Mary Cole, and Trent Dunham right behind him. Sean Henley, actually, so it's Chris Washer, Dylan Poteet, Mary Cole, Trent Dunham, and Sean Henley that round out your top five. Look at the 21. It's all over the back bumper. They're gonna, are they going to try to make it three wide for the lead? Look at Mary Cole just dive her truck. Oops. Drive, dive her truck straight down. Makes it stick. And comes off the corner. As she's going to lead lap number eight. But Poteet is not that far behind. We have yet to see any cautions. As you see Mary Cole... Dylan Poteet catches her right quickly here. Now, there goes Poteet to the inside. Oh, but Mary Cole is able to... Mary Cole is able to keep ahead of Poteet. As here comes Trent Dunham. As this is just the lead here, we're going to go around through the back here. No one has really fallen off the pace. Except for that 33 car, Joshua Collard went from being up at the, in the top five to all the way back to 32nd. His car must not be handling all that great right yet. But remember, we still got pit stops here as we're coming to 17 laps to go. As here comes Poteet looking underneath Mary Cole. It's okay, could it be a drag race? Nope. Mary Cole once again clears. Here comes Danny Wells. Danny Wells going up. Now, now here comes Poteet. God dang it, why do I keep doing that? Here comes Poteet underneath Mary Cole. Dylan Poteet, Anthony McCurry. Here comes Sean Henley again. These drivers are just coming all through the field here. These cars, why do I keep saying cars? These trucks. These trucks are just, they're just going. They, they, they realize that these trucks can come from the back to the front here at Kansas. This is just like a wide open track here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back from these commercial breaks, preferably with pit stops. Welcome back to Kansas Motor Speedway as we see the pit stops are beginning. Pit stops have begun as a lot of cars come down into pit road this time. But a lot of cars stay out, and I believe Anthony McCurry is the leader. As he's nope, he's just gotten past Jake Williams, is now leading in this in that number 23 Toyota. Danny Wells is second, but believe these car or these trucks are now coming to pit road this time. Here we go, coming to pit road, and Anthony McCurry stays out again, and he stays out an extra lap. He's gonna be the leader, as he is putting. These trucks that pit the first time, one lap down. This could benefit. This could benefit that number 66. And I believe Aaron Williams Jr. stayed out too. Those two right there, it could be down to those two. But Anthony, Anthony McCurry, rookie of course, has a three second lead over them as he's now coming down the pit road here. We're going to be watching Anthony McCurry as he's coming down to make his pit stop. We're going to see what kind of strategy he takes. Probably he's th he thinks he's built himself he built up a good enough lead that he's going to uh, 
probably take four tires as you see the 66 and the 40 both pit right next to each other here so it's a, right now it's two tires on that 66 car is he gonna come around for four yep taking four tires for the 66 team his, his pit stop is done him and the him and the 40 as Anthony Mercury crosses the line Oh, the 47's coming in the pit again. That's strange. We're looking at the rest of the field here to see who's going to cycle around as the leader. We believe it could be Dylan Pote who started, who started the cycle of pit stops. It, he could cycle around as the leader as they're coming around here. He was last shown in third place, so let's see as he crosses the line. And look who's up in the, the who would be the third spot if we cycle around correctly. Is he the leader? Yes, he is. And look who's made it up in the third spot. Last week's winner, rookie Nicole Williams. She has she started in the rear of the field, made her way up, and must have take to, uh, took in at least two tires from that pit stop. And these just these lead trucks here are just crowding around as we're coming to ten laps to go. I don't think these cars would have to make another pit stop since they just pit by the end of this race. All we'll just have to find out is their cars are stretched out here. You see, you got Charles Jackson starting in the back uh, in the back here, 37th. Uh, am I missing? Whoa! Oh, that's why the 47 pit again. He had a gearbox malfunction and he has retired from the race. So Dustin Griffith is out of the race due to a gearbox failure. As we're coming as we're coming through the field here, you see Cody Lamas back here in his 51 truck. He's 35th. Daniel Day. Oh, he has some damage to the front of his car. I wonder what happened to him. As we're going through the field here is our pole sitter. Uh, Connor Smith, he's back in the... Uh, 30th. Well, as we're going to cycle back run through the cars here for the leader. Oh. Oh, yeah. It, the 16 was leading, but now he's getting passed by Jake Williams. He, Jake Williams is passing Nicole Williams. I believe they're brother and sister, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, we'll be right back with some more commercials and we'll take you to the finish. Alright, welcome back to Kansas. We got six laps to go we're gonna take you to the finish now ladies and gentlemen um right now we're the, the battle of brother and sister again if i'm mistaking i'm sorry jake williams and nicole williams i think uh, I, well actually you know what i don't even know if they're related so if i completely screw this up this is a fail on my part but uh, as you see nicole williams just powers by jake right there just now look at the leech. She's trying to be the first repeat winner of the entire season of my of both of my series. She's looking to become the first repeat winner. She I hopefully she'll probably be able to get cycled back to the lead in time. Uh, four laps to go. Sean Henley, who won. We got two rookies up here battling. Uh, Sean Henley, who. Uh, one at who won the inaugural race at Daytona. He hasn't won since then. He's looking to go back to victory lane. Danny Wells, who hasn't even who, Danny Wells, who hasn't even won a race at all this season. D Danny Wells, Jake Williams, and Dylan Poteet have all not won a race this season. The top two have the la the bottom three of the top five don't. But just look at this. It's a three second gap between Anthony Mercury. And now, Danny Wells. As we got three laps to go, coming to two. Can Nicole Williams hold off a hard-charging Sean Henley to win her second race of the season? We're going to have to see as they're coming out of turn number four. Here we go, coming to the line, two laps to go. Henley is closing in fast. Does Henley have anything for that for the number 16? But also, if Jake Williams begins to pass Henley, it's going to open the door. Oh, there goes Henley. Henley is going to the inside, but 
the 23 is going to stick to the outside. Will the 16 get the run? The 16 is getting the run off the corner. White flag, one lap to go. Here comes Dylan Poteet on the inside of uh, on the inside of Jake Williams now he's going to try to pass look at the run the 42 tried to get the 40 Sean Hanley tried to get a run off the corner but that's going to open the door i believe this race is over Nicole Williams looking to become the first two time winner of the season the rookie comes out of turn number 4 and Nicole Williams is going to win two in a row. She wins the Kansas Twister 350. Nicole Williams wins this race. And a hard charge from the back of the pack to the front. These, these top five cars all were battling, trying to get up to the lead to try to get the win. Just allowed her to pull away just that slight bit on the last lap. And Nicole Williams is going to victory lane again in this number 16 Chevy Silverado. I cannot believe that she is a two-time winner. Let's take a look at our official race results here from the Kansas Motor Speedway. As we're looking here, we got Nicole Williams who officially is, who's officially the winner of this race. As I'm going to do this now. And it's now official. Nicole Williams is our leader. Sean Henley second. Poteet third. Danny Wells fourth. Jake Williams is fifth. Anthony McCurry is two, two, almost three seconds behind is in sixth. Ashley LaPlante seventh, Chris Washer eighth. He led a good. He he led some laps today. Isaiah Forward ninth, Aaron Williams Jr. tenth. Nicole Williams is building on her points lead. She is the points. She was the points leader going in. She is the points leader now. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at the bottom half of the field here. The only person to retire today was Dustin Griffith because of a broken gearbox, and Daniel Day, who qualified very well, ends up. Finishing very poorly back in 37th place. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me here at Kansas Motor Speedway. We will, we're waiting for the Budweiser All Pro Series qualifying, which is coming up right after this race. It will not be televised or recorded. So we're going to have to see who's going to grab the pole and who's going to uh, who's going to grab the pole and who's going. To win that race tomorrow, quote unquote, race it's going to be recorded tomorrow. But uh, all right, guys, thank you for joining once again. Be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, especially if you like this video. Um, if you hear any music in the background, it's I'm trying something new. Thank you guys for joining me. Here come the point standings after this race, and once again, congratulations to Nicole Williams for going back to that.